Hi, I'm John Zaktansky, the Middle Susquehanna River Keeper, coming to you today from a beautiful small lake uh, in Union County, and wanted to talk to you today in our study, the Susquehanna series, about algae and algae growth on water bodies such as this. Algae is an important part of the aquatic food chain, forming the base of the ecosystem through photosynthesis and by providing a food source that feed the next level of species. Algae is also helpful in breaking down organic matter and recycling it through the food web. Now anyone whose lure comes back in when you're fishing along the shores with a nice layer of green goopy algae knows just how annoying algae can be for the recreational use of waterways. It's hard to kayak and fish and do other things in a waterway that has a bunch of algae growing on top. Beyond the recreational issues that algae can cause, the ecological implications of excess algae can be devastating. Fed by an increase in nutrients, algae can spread across the surface of the waterway, blocking sunlight. Plants die without that sunlight, and eventually the algae dies too. Bacteria digest the dead plants using the remaining oxygen and giving off carbon dioxide. If they can't swim away, fish and other aquatic wildlife become unhealthy and can die without the necessary oxygen. Additional threat that looks very much like true algae but isn't is called cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae. Cyanobacteria releases a toxin that can be harmful to both people and animals, especially dogs. How do you know if the substance you see in a waterway is a true algae or a cyanobacteria? If you see something that sticks to rocks, plants, or the bottom of a lake or river, or if you can pick it up with a stick, it is likely not cyanobacteria. If you see that it has separate leaves, it isn't cyanobacteria either. It may be duckweed or another plant that imitates the properties of an algae. If it is yellowish and can also be seen on the ground as well as the water in the spring to midsummer, it most likely is pollen. So what exactly does cyanobacteria look like? They typically look like small pinhead-sized particles. Under the right conditions, they may collect on the surface of a waterway, which is called a bloom, which is what happened late last summer at Francis Locum State Park in Luzerne County. Cyanobacteria that has bloomed may look like pea soup or a blue-green paint spill on the surface. The water itself can also look murky and be colored by a green, brownish green, a milky green, or a blue. If you think that you've spotted cyanobacteria or aren't sure, don't enter the water or let your pets swim in it. Contact the Middle Susquehanna Riverkeeper at 570-768-6300 or email midsusriver at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us today on Study the Susquehanna, a video series by the Middle Susquehanna Riverkeeper Association. For more information, check out our website at www.middlesusquehannariverkeeper.org.